Yo, here's some tips on how to work into facility transports. And I'll give you an example with a job that I did with a critical pediatric patient who was ventilator dependent and having seizures. We got called for a team job to a New York City public hospital where we had to pick up this patient. Usually into facility transport from public hospital to Ivy League hospital are usually due to the fact that the patient's having a rare condition and the public ho and the Ivy League hospital really wants to treat them so they can use that, that experience to improve their residence. So we're transporting this patient with a resident in the back of the ambulance from one hospital to the other. She's a pediatric resident who usually works in the ICU, the pediatric pediatric ICU. When we get to the scene, we put the patient on the ventilator. I noticed that the freaking staff at the public hospital had little to no clue on how to handle this patient. Luckily, we, we had this resident who had much more experience on dealing with critical patients. We get the patient on the ambulance, finally, after having like two hours on scene, and the patient started seizing again, despite all the medication that he received. It looked like he was desaturating. I checked him, he was desaturating. He was showing signs of increased level of altered mental status and he was becoming cyanotic. The vent was not working. So I got receipt, I took him off the ventilator and put him on a BVM, started ventilating him through the BVM and everything was fine. But the resident got upset because of the simple fact that she had to call her attending for clearance on what to do under these circumstances. While she's fumbling on her phone trying to get reception inside of this hospital ER bay, the entire ER bay, including all the paramedics, EMTs that were there, the staff and everybody came out, including the security guards, to see how we're working this patient up in the back of my ambulance. What did I do? I ventilated the patient. The patient was seizing. He was like five months old. And this resident was acting frantic, frantically. And I say that to say this, my people, when you do inter-facility transports, it's literally contract work you're doing. You're a glorified Uber who's literally transporting people from one location to the other. And a lot of the times, this transporting that you're doing is doing it as a business situation where people don't want to do anything without clearance from somebody else because it might hurt the contract of the other company. So the relationship, the business relationship between hospitals, between ambulances companies will decide how you proceed during your shift, not in every single instance. So for example, if you get called for a cold one emergency, to a certain hospital for abdominal pain or for a headache, don't be surprised because that contract is a priority for the ambulance company you're working for. So a lot of times when you see inter-facility transport ambulances running up and down the street with lights and sirens, they're just fulfilling a contract. It's not really a critical patient that they have in the back of their ambulance. So that being said, proceed with due regard do your job is part of the process. This is something that we all have to go through or the majority of us have to go through. Do it with your head high, do it, and do it to the best of your ability, but be mindful that a lot of it is just business. I hope this helps. Peace. Dropping off my kids at school, and as I drop them off, my son is waving me down. Daddy, daddy, as I'm leaving, he's showing me off to his friends. Look at my daddy, look at my daddy. And he's like waving me down and throwing me kisses. My son, my oldest son. And he loves me so much. And I say that to say this, my people. There's a reason why I make my kids proud, man. Like I work out, I have a nice car, I'm educated, I'm well-spoken, I'm well-groomed, and I'm put together in a pretty good manner. And I'm comparing myself to the other parents that are dropping the kids off and they're looking like a hot mess, man. I wish they weren't looking like that. And I say that to say this, my people. Please understand that your kids, they want to look up to you. They want you to be their super hero just give them something to work with they'll take it from there i hope this helps somehow some way man i feel great thank you